Emily, she was already in a pretty special place where a lot of people hope to just arrive in their life at some point. She was a very successful TV producer who was as um, comfortable walking around peanut plants as uh, F-18s uh, trying to test <laughs> for her um, Modern, Marvels. Modern Marvels series, which I thought was more than, more than Marvels. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, early, early on when we met, we sat down and I actually dared her to think big and to dream and ask her, what would it be if you really dreamt big what you wanted? And I have to say, she's one of those very few special people that I've met in my life who had the courage to actually dream big and think about it and at some point say, hey, you know what, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Yeah. And about four years later, her little baby, her little creation, was just moved into this beautiful loft downtown, which in a way signals the arrival of a brand, of a real living, breathing thing that's out there. And she's built this with her bare hands, without any real support from the world out there. It's all, the only thing that's frustrating, and I think you all have had that experience with her, she just makes it so easy. <laughs> I feel like she's almost the equivalent of a stem cell. You can plug her into anything. <laughs> so anyway, my darling, I love you so much. I think we all love you, and we hope you keep dreaming, keep creating big things in your life. I'm sure you will keep surprising us and inspiring us, and we all love you. Have a great day. <laughs>